In a night of anger and arrest, Los Angeles and Philadelphia became the latest cities to clear out campgrounds of protesters affiliated with the Occupy Wall Street movement. In both cities, the evictions were peaceful, mostly. TV helicopters were overheard overhead as Philadelphia police moved in at about 1 a.m. Some scuffling, 52 arrests, one protester, and three officers were hurt. In Los Angeles, the arrest totals and the pictures are much more dramatic. Officers in L.A. report hearing lots of profanity in their pre-dawn raid, but no violence. About 200 people arrested in L.A. With us now, the mayors of both cities, Michael Nutter of Philadelphia and Antonio Villaragosa of Los Angeles. Mayor Villaragosa, I want to begin with you. Uh, you praised the police officers in your raid. Uh, some of the protesters praised them as well. But I want you to respond to this blog posting from Ruth Fowler, an Occupy protester. This is from OccupyLosAngeles.org. None of the protesters I was with had been violent. None had destroyed property. None were even tormenting the police. The violence I witnessed was pretty intense. Those cops were pissed, excuse my language, and wanted to hurt people. They were running and beating people who were simply running away, trying to escape. Did that happen? It didn't happen. Uh, she was watching uh, some other image in some other city. Uh, in the city of Los Angeles, uh, there were no uh, injuries, uh, to my knowledge, and certainly no uh, serious injuries. Uh, there was no violence. She's right. Uh, that the protesters uh, did uh, an incredible job of, of being peaceful, as they have really throughout the 68 days. But let me be absolutely clear. Uh, I couldn't have been prouder of the Los Angeles Police Department last night. It was their finest moment. Uh, there have been ups and downs in our department, as you well know. Uh, but yesterday uh, was uh, a sight to, to be seen. It was a magnificent display of constitutional policing. We believe uh, that you can exercise your First Amendment uh, in the city of Los Angeles. We believe that you can speak out against the government uh, and that our police uh, working with our community can also respect uh, those First Amendment rights. And we did last night and throughout the 68 days of Occupy LA. Uh, Mayor Nutter, why now? Why are both yeah. of these big major cities deciding you've run out of patience? Is it a strain on your resources? Have the protesters become a nuisance? Why now? Well, for us, John, it was uh, quite frankly uh, related directly to a new a construction project that we told, I told personally, Occupy Philadelphia about when they met with me. Uh, back on October 5th. So uh, I think the first thing here is uh, both uh, Mayor Villalagosa and I uh, want to dispel any notion uh, that there is any connection between uh, what happened in Los Angeles in terms of their action uh, versus what happened in Philadelphia in our action. It may have literally been uh, around at about the same day, same time. Uh, but ours is related to a construction project. Certainly, I voice concerns about public health and public safety issues. But we gave notice uh, to Occupy Philadelphia uh, nearly 10 days ago uh, that uh, their permit was expiring. We gave them another permit uh, for an area literally across the street uh, from City Hall. Uh, and the question, gentlemen, to Los Angeles first is whither Occupy? Where is this movement heading? You have both voiced support uh, for their goals. Mayor Nutter, you just mentioned some of them, economic justice. You went to visit them, Mayor yeah. Nutter, uh, back in October. Mayor Villaragosa, to, to you first. Is this a protest movement? Is it a political movement? Uh, is it a nuisance movement? Where do you see it going? I think it has uh, very real prospects of becoming uh, a serious movement uh, here in the country. Uh, the issues that they've raised of economic justice, uh, the issues of uh, concentration of wealth, the disparity between wealth and poverty, the, the growing evisceration of the middle class, the jobs deficit. It can be a movement if uh, they understand that uh, people in this country want to see a nonviolent movement. I, I come out of the civil rights movement. Uh, I can tell you the power of nonviolence uh, is, a, is a power uh, that, when unleashed, uh, can uh, produce tremendous results and change. Uh, if it degenerates, as it did in some cities, uh, then I, I'd say that it won't uh, have that lasting power. And, and may 